Guys, the question says in a meter bridge, the wire of length 1 meter has a non uniform cross section such that the variation dr by dl of its resistance with length is dr by dl inversely proportional to root n. Two equal resistances are connected as shown in the figure. The galvanometer has zero deflection when the jockey is at point P. What is the length AP? Yes, we want the length AP, which is nothing but L. So now can I say first thing for sure that since this wire have a non-uniform area of cross section, as you can see the area of cross section is increasing, we can definitely say the resistance of this part AP is going to be exactly equal to the resistance of part PB because these two resistances are same and at point P we are getting the null point which means the ratio of these two resistance must be equal and that means this two part of the resistance has to be equal. So let's call RAP to be equal to RPB to be equal to RAV by 2. So basically those two resistances are equal. Now if you understand, we need to use this relation between the resistance and length to find the total resistance AP or the total resistance AB. So now if I apply that logic, can I say dr by dl as k l raised to minus half. 1 upon root l is l raised to minus half. So if we rearrange this equation, we get dr is equal to k L raised to minus half dl, which means we need to go for integration. Now for integration, we are going to use integration dr is equal to k will come outside as it is a constant. It will be integration L raised to minus half dl. And I'm going to put the condition or the limits as from 0 to r for the position from 0 to x. Now that x can be anything, please remember that. So if I do that, I get the resistance R is equal to k L raised to minus half ka jo integration hota hai, hota hai L raised to half upon half, where the limit will go from 0 to x. Now this half in the denominator becomes 2 in the numerator and L raised to half is yani root L. So we can say this is nothing but 2 root L. So if we substitute this value as upper limit minus lower limit, we get k 2k root x. Yes guys, so r ka value ho jayega 2k root x. Where the starting limit is always taken as 0, which means I am going to take the starting limit always as a. And now the ending limit can be p or d, depending on our usage. So now can I say, for this particular resistance, if I want to find RAP, I can say the value of X is actually L. And so, sorry, this is RAP, the RAP. Yes, and so RAP is going to be 2K root L as my equation number one. Now, for RAB, which is the total resistance of the wire and that we can say x is equal to 1 because that is the total length of the wire and so the value of RAB is going to be 2k root of 1 that means RAB is equal to 2k that is my equation number 2. Now we already have the relation between RAP and RAB as RAP is equal to RAB by 2. So substituting 1 and 2 in this relation, we get 2k root L is equal to 2k by 2. So definitely this 2 gets cancelled, this k gets cancelled. So we get root L as half. Squaring on both the sides, we get the value of L as 1 by 4. Now we very well know 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 meter. And guys, that is your final answer.